Okay, so what a finale for the boys, right? Check out my ending explain for a full recap and everything that happened. Why did I say like recap? Um, anyways, check out that if you want a full recap on everything that happened. But let's talk about what exactly can we expect in season five. I'm over here thinking of Stranger Things with season five and jumping like to season five with the boys. I meant season four, which is going to for sure come out. It already got greenlit and everything, and we probably expect it sometime next year. So season four of the boys is definitely going to be interesting i feel like so much has changed since season one right like if we really stop to think about it i'm going to make a video about that because all of these characters have grown so much i think the writing is amazing they've definitely shown us how much that these characters have gone through and what that's made them become as well and we're at a point where i never expected to see newman become vice president right from the last time we saw her so a lot changed this episode and i think it's going to set up for a final season if season four is the final season as many people are theorizing but i think they could go for five seasons to be honest so let's get right into it so pretty much at the end of this one we saw that Maeve sort of like sacrificed herself to save everybody from soldier boy's explosion so I really did think that Maeve had died and all of that, and then it turns out, like, nope, surprise, she's still alive. And so is Soldier Boy, which kind of, like, eh, fun, it felt like about it because it's sort of like that moment was very heroic, and now it feels like a cheap cop-out. But I do like the send-off she got, so I don't expect to see much of her right now, which is okay. I do hope to see her, though, by the time the show is wrapped up, so we'll wait and see for that. So we have uh, Butcher who is also now dying and I think that's going to be an interesting dynamic. Newman has become vice president and Soldier Boy is being kept in the chamber. Homelander's cult has gone crazier and now he's introduced Ryan into the mix. So if season 4 was just this crazy, how will season 4 be? I said season 4 twice. I mean season 3 was just so crazy, how crazy or will season 4 be? So I think that we're definitely going to see Butcher just go all out like no regrets nothing nothing held back he since he knows he is dying he's just gonna do whatever it takes now i do see the whole starlight and the boys joining together and i feel like we'll see some more people join them at a certain point i think homelander definitely is going to be more isolated and just have his son at this point the the deep a train i don't think i see them really being a strong support or really being those team players that he was looking for and it even sounds like he knows this deep down but he's just keeping them for like little petty things to do so i really do see them just being that i do think that bot is going to pretty much go underwater pretty soon and become this sort of like the weird place of people who are like races and all of this and I think we definitely see a new company step forward in the next season to create their own sort of team to go up against Bot. And I mean, we could even see that like new company be a Stan Edgar type company that he brings forward, um, especially now with Newman as vice president. I think it's going to be interesting to see how all of that's definitely played out. And I think that Homelander is really going to be trying to use her as much as he possibly can to get his will done and everything. So. I think that we definitely see a lot of alliances form in the next season and yeah I think it's I think it's crazy I, next season is gonna be a lot more I feel like what the hell is gonna happen now right because at the rate that things are going um, especially with that last scene with Homelander just blasting that guy and everybody who saw that like not really caring I think you see like a whole war probably break out uh, between the people who are trying to sort of worship Homelander and the people that know and are calling out his bullshit and siding with Starlight as well. I think we see a big like distrust happen in the society um, regarding soups as well. So I think that it's going to be interesting how that's going to affect all the other soups also and what comes after. There is no seven right now. There's only three because Black Noir, of course, is dead. Maeve lost her powers. Starlight is gone and we know what happened to Supersonic so there's just the deep a train and also Homelander left to sort of go against whatever the case may be that they're trying to tell people is a threat so Vaughn has a lot of rebranding to do the next season like I said I feel like we'll definitely get a new company trying to come forward and compete with Vaughn I wouldn't be surprised if that company is a Stan Edgar company 
that he's sort of doing and just playing chess with Vought now at this point trying to see who's gonna like tap out first right I could definitely see a scenario like that so I'm excited I definitely am I think that we definitely have gotten some of the best material we've gotten from this show this season and it's just getting better and better and I definitely think that it's just gonna keep on getting better so super pumped for that like I said this season finale was great I don't expect Soldier Boy to pop up anytime soon but I do expect him to pop up at least a couple more times there's a reason that they showed us his body they know that we're going to be seeing him and they're just like don't forget about this guy I do definitely see him being used more as a weapon as we go forward. I don't think that there will be any trust to even try to make an alliance with him because of everything that's happened already. So I definitely do see him just being used like that. So let me know your thoughts, your opinions. Are you excited or not for season five? And I keep calling it season five, season four. I'm, I'm really jumping ahead a lot, aren't I? So let me know your thoughts, your opinions on all of this. But it's always that it's going to do it for me. If you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. We're about to reach 22,000 actually, less than 50 away from that. So super excited for that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Can we get to 22,000 today? I feel like we can do that for sure. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. 25,000 subscribers by the end of the month. We'll do a giveaway once we reach that, as I've said. And yeah, I'll see all of you next time. Don't forget to follow me on social media. Culture Elixir is the name twitter tiktok come follow us there for all of that we do have a website as well culturelixir.com so make sure you check it out also but as always we have some videos on the left for you to check out let me know your thoughts your theories on what's to come in season five who do you want to see in season five also like we'll definitely talk about more of the storylines that they could definitely follow for season five in an upcoming video which will be next week but yeah i'm excited for that and definitely definitely pumped as well will we get anything at comic-con i don't know i don't know if we will but we'll see comic-con is in two weeks so we still have some time to see if we'll get anything but as always i'll see you next time stay safe stay positive Hey, if you're still listening, really appreciate you continuing to check out the channel. Make sure you check out the videos on the left if you haven't already. And as always, that's going to do it for me. Make sure that we subscribe to get the 25,000 subscribers. As always, stay safe, stay positive.